Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to detect touch events on the canvas. So here I will create a view in which whenever I touch at two points it will draw a line between two, the two points. So it means it will draw the line between previous touch point to the new touch point. So let's start. Here I have this public class SK view. So this means I create a new class called SK view and it extends view. And it contains this variable paint variable called my paint. Then there is the constructor public SK view context context super context. And here I define this my paint is equal to new paint. So this is the constructor. After that there is the on draw method at override protected void on draw canvas canvas and in this on draw method I set the style of my paint to android.graphics.paint.style.stroke so the style is stroke then I set the stroke width set stroke width to 8 and then I set the color of this my paint to red color dot red so this is the on draw method and after this I have the on touch event method at override public boolean on touch event which has this variable motion event event so from this we can get the motion event and this is a boolean method so it it will return either true or false in the end so here i have this return true in the end and then i close this on touch event and in the end i close this class so inside this I have a switch inside this on touch event I have a switch for event dot get action so from this event I get the action and that action can be either action down or action move or action up so I make it a switch which starts here and ends here and inside this switch I have various cases so first case is case motion event dot action down and then I break this case so motion event dot action down means the action of touching the screen when I touch the screen or place my finger on the screen that is action down and when I move my finger on the screen that will be a different case so that is the second case case motion event dot action move this is the action of moving my finger on the screen and the third case is case motion event dot action up this is the case of removing my finger from the screen so these are the three actions from this motion event I get the action and that action can be motion event dot action down or it can be motion event dot action move or it can be motion event dot action up now I will create an app where uh, whenever I touch it will be set as the end point and when I touch at second place that will, second place will be set as the end point and the previous touch point will be set as start point so for that I will create these four variables four float variables float start x this will be 0 then I define another float variable float start y and this will be also 0 so initially I will set start x and start y and end x and end y to 0 so float end x this is the x of end point and then the y of end point this will be float end y equal to 0 so these are the four points which I will use to draw the line so in on draw method I will draw the line by writing canvas which is this canvas dot draw line and here I will write start x comma start y comma end x comma end y so these are the four points this is the x and y of start point and x and y of end point initially they are all 0 and then I write the paint used to draw them which is my paint and then I close this 
now in this on touch event in the event of action down i set start x i set start x to the previous end x and i set start y to the previous end y now i change this end x and this end x will be the new touch point x of touch point so i get x of touch point by writing event which is this event dot get x this will be the new x of new touch point then i write i set this and y to event dot get y so this will be the y of new touch point and then i will redraw the canvas to redraw the can i will redraw the canvas with these variables means the line will be drawn with this start x and start y and end x and end to redraw the canvas i will write invalidate okay when i write invalidate it will draw the canvas again and while when it will draw the canvas again these variables will change and thus it will draw a new line now let's use this in sketchware so here i have this linear one for which padding is 0 and in more block i have this more block extra for in the beginning there is closing curly bracket in the end opening curly bracket and in between i will put my code which i copied and in on create we have to create a view from this class new sk view this and we have to add it to linear one linear one dot add view new sk view this now let's check this okay so initially the x and y of start point and end point are zero so that's why it has not drawn anything now when i touch anywhere it draws a line from zero to the touched point then when i touch at another place it draws from previous touch point to new touch point and like that it draws line from all the previous touch point to the new touch point so that's why in this video i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this